My system of school library management is driven by my personal philosophy. It is this statement that guides every decision carried out in the library. In the following slides, I will show you how this philosophy impacts the way I see and run a school library. The first part, how a library serves as a haven. As mentioned in the text, how people learn, students who feel a sense of belonging are less likely to fail. This belonging is crucial and I strive to achieve it through creating an inclusive library environment. The overall design of the library is just one factor that cultivates this environment. It should exude warmth, collaboration, and opportunity. Big windows that allow natural light and comfortable seating are examples of how I like to create this warmth. To quote the article, 21st Century Libraries by Beth Holland, instead of being an archive, libraries are becoming learning commons. Along with warmth, the library environment I believe in encourages collaboration. The design of the library should also reflect the opportunities available inside and outside of school. Keeping the collection up to date, neatly on display, hanging up clear and inclusive signage for all areas of the library and constantly displaying student work are all ways I try to show opportunities. The displays in the library play a large role in supporting this environment. To meet the American Association of School Librarians standard of include, I aim to create displays that represent the diverse population and viewpoints of students. These displays paired with signs that are bilingual in large print and incorporate American Sign Language only help to heighten inclusivity. And it doesn't hurt to have eye-catching displays encouraging all learners to read. The last factor that is essential in creating this inclusive library environment is the collection. Similar to displays, the overall collection must include stories and perspectives from all students. In order to keep the collection neat and meet the growing population, books are weeded regularly. This collection is also made up of a variety of material targeting different types of learners. The next part of my philosophy are the essential tools that the library provides. The use of technology is a main focus in my personal system of library management. The American Association of School Librarians stressed the importance of providing this basic access to technology to students, especially for students who might not have access at home. But beyond the basic access, the library I strive for guides students to use this technology as the AASL states, ethically, constructively, and safely, creating lifelong skills. But what I find the most important about the library is that this technology is available to students who need it beyond the normal class hours. There are many other tools besides technology that my personal system of library management recognizes as essential. I aim to create a library that helps support different learning styles and needs of motivation. By including areas such as maker spaces, quiet zones, and audiobook archives, a library provides tools that support a range of students, from kinesthetic learners to students on the spectrum, again creating a sense of belonging. I also stress different methods of increasing student motivation by utilizing book read and share programs and teaching inquiry projects, the library provides learners with a tool of motivation. As the journal reading teacher states, students are more motivated when they have opportunities to interact with others. The library creates these opportunities for ownership and interaction, allowing students the space and freedom to become engaged in their studies. The mission to fill educational gaps and expand knowledge is what drives components of my personal system of school library management, such as teacher librarian collaboration. A library must be involved with what students are actively learning. This is why I think teacher collaboration is so important. Together, a teacher and librarian can align the lifelong literacy skills that the library provides with curriculum content. The library makes an important effort to nurture this relationship 
by providing an area for teachers, allowing them to feel equally as welcome as the students. In order for effective collaboration, the librarian must stay on top of the curriculum. Joining curriculum committees makes the librarian's presence known and also keeps them up to date. If not actively working with a teacher, librarians help students to continue to ground content area by teaching their lessons in alignment with the curriculum. There have been many studies that show the benefits of teachers and librarians working together. But sometimes students must look beyond the school doors to feel fulfilled in knowledge. And this is how the library can help. The library serves as a gateway to the outside connecting students to the community, such as museums, public libraries, and content area specialists. I aim to, to keep the community connected with all we do in the library through ways such as writing monthly newsletters or hosting book clubs, taking students to visit the public library, and inviting community members in for student presentations. I hope that the library crafts a good relationship between students and the community. And finally, the last part of my philosophy is to allow students to dream big. Through the components of my personal system of school library management discussed here today, such as outreach, an inclusive library environment, technology, supporting learner differences, teacher collaboration and motivation, students are supported to dream outside of the school walls and beyond. Thank you so much.